गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ चारू जैन एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सॉल्व एग्जाम ऑफ बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग विच इज़ फ्रॉम डी टी यू यूनिवर्सिटी ओके एंड दिस पेपर इज फ्रॉम नवम्बर टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन सो आई विल डिस्कस विथ ऑल द बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑल्सो सो दैट यू वुड इजिली रेस्प ऑल दिस ऑल दीज थिंग्स ओके सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट स्टार्ट दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वट दे हैव सेट वी हैव टू आंसर ट्रू or false okay and we have to justify also that why it is true or why it is false so move to question number first first part okay in the first part what they have said the phasor current through impedance is one angle zero means whatever they said current is equal to how much one angle zero if you know about it one angle zero is in which form it is in polar form okay and then what they said the voltage across it is two angle 60 degree and the voltage value is how much they have given 200 two angle 60 degree again angle form means polar form just remember this angle form means polar form okay and in polar form we can multiply also and we can divide also right the reactive var is consumed in the impedance is this okay so now let's start they don't tell us about the impedance they just told us that there is a term impedance okay and as you know that impedance is denoted by z right so across this impedance i have connected one voltage source that is of ac obviously and through this impedance current is flowing right so so current value is how much one angle zero and voltage value is how much two angle 60 degree this is the information they have given now we need to calculate the power how do we know, do i know about that they they want power because they have said the reactive var means they are asking about the reactive power reactive power is the term denoted by q okay and its unit is what var v stands for volt a stands for ampere and r stands for reactive i'll tell you the concept also based on this later on first understood that what they have asked reactive power and the unit of reactive power is var and the formula for the reactive power is v i sin phi right so in this we need to calculate what reactive power we know that we need to calculate reactive power we know the value of voltage they have given what is the value of voltage they have given that is one angle zero sorry where voltage value they have given that is two angle 60 degree and current value is they have given one angle zero right then sin phi now see how can we calculate the value of phi for this you should know that what is the phi phi is basically the angle between voltage and current okay phi is the angle between voltage and current so if i'll draw the phasor diagram based on this voltage is uh, current is how much 0 degree right they have said 0 degree 0 degree obviously this one is the 0 degree and then they said voltage angle is how much 60 degree so let's let let's consider this one is the 60 degree approx 60 degree is like this only so this is the voltage that is two angle 60 degree and this is the current that is one angle 0 degree okay we need to focus only on the angles by drawing the phasor diagram it is 60 degree and it is 0 degree as you know that 0 degree is always on the x axis right so can you tell me what is the angle between voltage and current you can tell me in the comment box tell me what is the angle between voltage and current that is how much 60 degree so phi is what angle between voltage and current that is 60 degree we got the value of phi also now we can place the value that is 2 angle 60 multiplied by 1 angle 0 and sin 60 right so if we will solve this then we can we will get the value i am telling you the complete value by solving you can solve it by calculator also we need to multiply the real term with the real term okay 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 and uh, angle should be added in case of multiplication 
right i think you have studied in this uh, this thing in 12th class that if the if we want to multiply then angles are added if we want to divide then angles must be subtracted okay like if there was that case two angle 60 degree one angle zero so real term real term divide by so the same procedure two and angle term would be subtracted in case of division but here we need to multiply so angle would be added so you will get two angle 60 plus zero and sine 60 as it is right so if you will solve all this then you will get the value of how much 1.72 angle 60 degree okay you can solve it by calculator by scientific calculator put the value of sine 60 here then you will get the final answer 1.72 angle 60 degree now back to the question what they have said the reactive power consumed in the impedance is j root 3 by 2 if they have said j okay if they have said they it means they have given in which form rectangular form rectangular form is like r plus j x and polar form is like r angle theta right but what we got our answer is in which form polar form our answer is in which form polar form so reactive power we got in polar form but they have given the answer in rectangular form so what we need to do we need to convert this polar form into rectangular form if you want to learn that how we how can we convert rectangular to polar then you can tell me in the comment box i'll tell you that after converting from polar to rectangular we'll get q is equal to 0.86 plus j 1.48 right this is the final answer we got for the reactive power and what they have said j root 3 by 2 j root 3 by 2 means they are saying j 1.22 as you can see easily that this value and this value doesn't match means the answer is how much j 1.48 but they have given j 1.22 so its answer is false okay i hope you understood this question now i'll tell you the concept behind this see we are having power power is divided into three categories there are basically three types of power one is active power which is denoted by the term p another is reactive power which is denoted by the term q and another is apparent power which is denoted by the term s okay active power can also be known as real power or it is also known as true power so don't get confused they can give any word to confuse you in the exam active power formula is vi cos phi reactive power formula is vi sin phi apparent power formula is vi active power is used in resistive load reactive power is used in inductive or capacitive load and apparent power is used in the combination of rl rc or rlc load active power unit standard unit is watt reactive power unit is var as i just told you what is var volt ampere reactive and apparent power unit standard unit is VA VA means volt ampere okay in this question they have asked you reactive power but maybe in your paper they have asked you any one of the power so you must remember all these three powers I hope it would be easily to understood you so relationship between these power is if you will form a triangle here you will get active power p here you will get reactive power here you will get apparent power so if you will apply pythagoras theorem then s square is equal to p square plus q square understood now back to the questions that was the first question we have solved and its answer is false next question question number two what they have said in a two watt meter method of the measuring power in a balanced three phase circuit the readings of the two watt meter are in the ratio of one is to two and the circuit power factor is this one okay first of all i just want to tell you 
that if you are doing basic electrical engineering or or first sem exam or you are giving first sem exam please do three phase circuit question three phase circuit unit okay i think it's your your unit third i think i don't remember it exactly but don't leave this unit reason being because in this unit there are only four topics okay and from four topics three topics will definitely come in your exam three or two will definitely come in your exam so don't leave this unit it's an easy unit if you want to study this unit then you tell me in the comment box okay now question number 2 for this you have to use the formula i am telling you the formula what was the formula cos phi is equal to cos of tan inverse root 3 w1 minus w2 divided by w1 plus w2 see what is cos phi cos phi you should know that power factor is cos phi basically okay and tan you know cos you know what is w1 and w2 w1 and w2 are the two watt meters readings basically it is a watt meter reading and as you know watt meters are used for measuring power right now what they have said in the question they have said the readings of the two watt meter are in the ratio of 1 is to 2 1 is to 2 means if watt meter reading 1 is 1 then watt meter 2 reading is how much 2 right because if it is i i have just taken 1 or 2 if means it is double basically if watt meter 1 reading is 10 it means watt meter 2 reading is how much 20 1 is to 2 means exactly double right so i can place the value here means w1 value is equal to 1 and w2 value is equal to 2 i am just putting down the value here we need to calculate power factor power factor is cos phi cos of tan inverse root 3 okay w1 value is how much 1 because they have given the ratio of 1 is to 2 w1 is to w2 so it would be 1 minus 2 divided by 1 plus 2 if we will solve this then you will get the value of cos of tan inverse minus 0.5767 okay i hope you will understand then its value is 0.866 and its answer is true okay i hope it would be i hope it it would be clear to you because they have also said this the circuit power factor is how much root 3 by 2 and root 3 by 2 is 0.866 okay root 3 by 2 value is 0.866 so its answer is true now next question question number 3 distribution transformer are designed to have more core losses see answer is in the statement only what they have said We, you are designing one transformer okay just imagine that you are designing transformer okay you are designing that transformer to have more losses it would be true you are designing transformer to have more losses no no it means this statement is false this this thing is true that distribution transformer having more core losses okay but you you would not design that transformer to have more core losses so its statement is false concept behind this is basically there are two types of transformer two types of transformer what are those one is the power transformer and another one is the distribution transformer okay uh, if i'll tell you uh, by example suppose elect your electricity is generating in punjab okay uh, you know that in punjab we are having a bhakra nangal dam here electricity is generating from water from punjab to delhi electricity needs to be transmit right from punjab to delhi electricity is coming and from delhi it is further transmitting into different areas like east delhi west delhi north delhi south delhi okay so now you are using transformer 
here in Punjab for transmitting voltage from Punjab to Delhi. So which transformer you will use? Power transformer. Okay. Power transformer. In short, I'm writing transformer like this. And if you want to transmit electricity from Delhi to Delhi, then which transformer you will use? Distribution transformer. Okay. So distribution transformer having more core losses and power transformer is having more copper losses copper losses means like i square r losses copper losses means i square r because in the power transformer current is very high as compared to this so this is like this so you are not designing to have more core losses just remember this point you will not design any transformer to have more core losses question number third clear now question number four the stored energy of a capacitor is dependent and dependent on its instantaneous voltage only what they have said in the fourth question what is the energy in the capacitor first of all you know you should know that half cv square right so they said that energy which is stored in the capacitor that depends on the voltage only obviously it's not true it depends on the value of capacitance only or also okay it depends on both the things and many other more things so it does not depends on the value of voltage only correct they have said voltage only so again this statement is also false whenever they will say na only just think twice because 90% uh, of the time answer is false only because stored energy of the capacitor it's depend on voltage and the capacitance value also I hope all these four questions would be clear to you. If you have any doubt, you can contact me on my contact number. That is my contact number or you can tell me in the comment box. I'll tell you. Okay. Thank you.